what's the aim of becoming a consecrated nun? Actually, monasticism is not an aim in itself. But uh, monasticism came to uh, replace martyrdom. When uh, martyrdom is finished, uh, people who like to express their love, uh, they went to the desert, left the world, and give all their life to, to God. So uh, it's a matter of ex expressing your love to God. Mm. It's a way. It's a way of salvation among many ways, other ways. It is not the only way of salvation, but because uh, there are many people in the world, they, they may have love mo more than I have love to God. Mm. And they are living norm their normal uh, life, and they are very accepted and so on. So, uh, the first aim is love, to express love. And uh, the second aim is to prepare ourselves to live in the everlasting life, the eternity with God, because we love Him, we, we like to be with Him all the time. And He is holy, completely holy. So to be in communion with God, we should be pure, because He is holy. Also the pure heart can uh, see God. So uh, we try to purify our hearts by repentance all the time, and we discover that to purify your heart is to have love in your heart also again because if you love if you have love in your uh, in your heart nothing will be bad and i mean when i speak about love i mean biblical love which is uh, stated in uh, the first epistle of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 13 and also we we should imitate christ in his love when he loved us he offered his life for us uh, sac sacrifice is the deep meaning of love. Yes. Yes. So we, our great struggling in the in our life is to experience this love, mm -hmm. the biblical love. It needs greatly denial of uh, self denial. Yes. Yes. So I think the first line of that Bible verse is love suffers long. Yes. And is yes. kind. Mm. And um, it contains everything. Love contains everything. Love is the, the center of everything. Love is everything and everything. Yes. And so God, when uh, he, call, he calls himself, he calls love, himself love. God is love and only love, mm -hmm. nothing else. So in love, there is everything. Of course, the perfect example, as I said, is uh, the love of God when he sacrificed himself for our sins. And so we try to express our love in return, by loving each other, by loving him and by loving each other, okay? Also, monasticism is a call. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, uh, follow me, it is freely, we can uh, uh, accept the invitation or not, but it's a call. It is not suitable. What I have, say, what I have said now, uh, it uh, can be practiced for all people, not only in the monastery, yes. monasticism. But uh, why specifically in uh, monasticism? It's uh, monasticism uh, does not suit everybody. Mm. It is not for everybody. Yes. Uh, it's a call, and we freely in, uh, accept this uh, yes. this call. Everyone can express his love in another way. So, and is that regardless of whether they're uh, on their own or in a, a, a marriage? There's yes. very various ways of expressing that love. Yes, yes. Okay. There is. A, it's, it's very hard in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> really, yes. because you have to accommodate with the, uh, uh, with the other and you also always, you, you should practice self-denial all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so giving one's self up yes. for the other person. Yes, yes. yes. It is wanted to self, uh, this self-denial, is wa it is wanted. And also it is God, because it is very important, God put it as a condition. When he said that uh, uh, anyone who uh, like to follow me should deny himself and carry the cross and uh, come after me. And follow him. And follow him, yes. So it is a condition to be a disciple of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. is to deny yourself. Denial or self-denial is very important. And it equals love. Yes. yes. Self-denial so equals love. Love. Yes. This is the importance of love. Yes, it's mm -hmm. uh, very different to what we uh, experience or what we aim for, I guess. Sort of in the Western world, it's more about what we can 
uh, get from somebody else or what we can share rather than the other way around, denying ourselves mm. as love for, the greatest love for someone else or for our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the most important and the true love. Yeah, true love also bring, brings peace. Mm. You feel peaceful. Yes. Mm. yes. You have love, you feel peaceful yes. and joy. And that's why they call our Lord the King of Peace? Yes, of course. Yes. Very beautiful. All yeah. the problems uh, came from what? Mm. From the opposite of self-denial. Everyone um, uh, wants himself first. Yes. And this is the problem. Yes. Mm. So it's very hard to give up yourself when you're always wanting and asking and looking at what you can have. Mm. Very good, Amena. Amena, can you tell us what is the average age of the nuns in the monastery? I will tell you roughly. Okay. Mm. Uh, five nuns in their 80s and about three nuns in their 70s, and about eight nuns in their 60s, mm -hmm. and about 25 in their 50s, and maybe 30 in their 40s, and then 94 in their uh, mid-20s and 30s. So a great deal of the nuns are very, very young uh, yes, nuns. Yes, yes. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a testament that the, the, the life of a nun is a beautiful life if it's attracting so many young women to that life. We have many, many uh, young women de desire to be nuns, but we maybe among, among 12 or 30, we, talk, we, we take two or three. Yes. Wow. Great desire for being uh, nuns. Yes. And of course, the, the fact that there's only two or three taken just shows that it, it needs to be a very big calling. And I guess later on you'll explain about the, the vows and the type of life. Yes. 